There are a lot of jokes about people with bad hearing, but for someone who deals with the problem day in and out, it can be cruel humor. People who are hard of hearing can get frustrated, feel left out of conversations, even depressed. The good news is that hearing aid technology has dramatically improved with new, smaller digital devices. And if you've been wondering about your hearing, it would be important for you to see an expert. Audiologists assess the range of hearing loss through a series of simple tests, and they can tune these new hearing aids to the sound frequencies that a person has lost the natural ability to hear. As with other healthcare practitioners, we have an increasing shortage of audiologists. Today, there are only about 13,000 of them in the U.S., and we can't keep pace with the growing demand of our aging population. Those we do have mainly practice in urban areas. That may be why just 8 million Americans wear hearing aids. To give you an idea of the scope of the problem, an estimated 26 million others with hearing loss go without for a number of reasons, including accessibility of experts. Using technology, we now have the ability to bring people with hearing problems, especially those in smaller communities and rural areas, to remote audiologists via telemedicine. This hits home with me because of my dad, who was a World War II Army veteran, the recipient of a Bronze Star. While fighting in New Guinea, the sound waves from artillery fire cost him his hearing in one ear and left him with only partial hearing in the other. For the next 65 years, he suffered with hearing loss. However, in the 1970s, he did get a behind-the-ear analog hearing aid and wore it for most of the rest of his life. Occasionally, though, he had to have his hearing aid tuned. Even though he lived only a mile from the VA hospital, he did not have an audiologist there to see him. So when he needed to have his hearing aid adjusted and tuned, he made an 80-mile trip by bus to a VA center that had a hearing specialist. This was a 12 to 13 hour round trip whenever he needed to go. He was so excited about our work with telemedicine, installing global med telemedicine systems in more than 900 community-based outreach patient clinics and more than 150 VA hospitals, including the one next to his home. The VA recently adopted our teleaudiology solution that enables a remote audiologist to determine the amount of hearing loss in a patient and to tune a hearing aid that will work specifically for that person. Unfortunately, my father passed away three years ago and never had the opportunity to use the service of the VA hospital in his hometown. I urge you to watch a video produced by the VA that shows a typical appointment with an audiologist using Global Med Solutions. The link to that video is on this page. As always, I'd like to know what you think, so send me an email. The address is also on this page. I'm Joel Bartholomew. Thank you.